Hello friends. It was a long cold winter here and as the spring unfolds and transitions into summer and the snow continues to melt away and all of the little flowers begin to blossom again, I have felt inspired to create a practice that allows us to experience spring within ourselves, mind, body, and spirit because I truly believe that no matter what time of year it is, we always have access to the energy of spring. This is an upbeat vinyasa flow equally focused on strength, flexibility, and overall body control with the underlying fluid gestures and technique of classical ballet, allowing you to reset physically and energetically. So if you're ready, then let's begin. Join me in finding a cross-legged, seated position on your mat, finding a long line of energy from the crown of the head all the way down the spine into the tailbone and down into the earth, rolling the shoulders far away from the ears, and perhaps bringing one hand to the belly, the other hand to the heart, leaving the eyes either open or closed, and beginning to sense the sensation of airflow as the breath travels in through the nose, down into the belly, expanding the diaphragm, and then at your own pace without forcing it or controlling it too much, noticing how the breath exits the body, back through the nose, and beginning to sense that circulation of air as it naturally flows through you. And with each breath, Finding a relationship with that area of the diaphragm that engages the parasympathetic nervous system, that vagus nerve area. This is the place that I want you to come back to energetically throughout the entire practice. Every single time the mind begins to wander or you question your ability to find a certain pose, go ahead and expand the diaphragm and bring the air into this area of the belly. Just re-engage that vagus nerve, reminding yourself that as you leave the practice later today, that this relationship will stay with you, strengthening your relationship with life overall. And now taking one more deep inhale and exhale through the nose, expanding the belly. And as you release the air, coming into a tabletop position at your own pace. Knees are about hip width distance apart, wrists are right under the shoulders. And again, following the rhythm of your own breath here, taking an inhale and finding a cow pose. As you exhale, rounding the spine, looking toward the belly button and finding a cat pose. Just maintaining that relationship with your own breath and tuning into the rhythm of your body as you find a pace that's right for you. Lubricating the spine here. Continuing to arch the spine on the inhale and rounding the spine, looking toward the belly button on the exhale for a few more rounds of breath. On the next breath, just looking over that right shoulder, looking toward the right hip, and then looking over the left shoulder, taking a glance at the left hip, and then flipping over the toes, coming into your downward facing dog, sending those hips high toward the sky, and allowing the heels to come toward the earth, maybe tenting the fingertips and finding a nice distribution of your weight throughout your body, Avoiding dumping too much weight into those wrists, keeping those wrists nice and healthy. And again, maintaining that relationship with your breath as you begin walking the dog here, bringing one heel up off the floor at a time. Feeling a nice, delicious stretch through the side body and the backs of the legs. Just slowly allowing the hamstrings to warm up. And then bringing both heels back down to the earth, 
then reaching toward that right ankle with the left hand, looking up under that right arm, toward the sky, feeling a nice juicy twist here. On the next breath, releasing that left hand and reaching toward the left ankle with the right hand this time, looking up under that left armpit. On the next breath, releasing that right hand back to the mat, coming back into your downward facing dog. Deep breath here. So let's continue warming up the spine with a few spinal rolls. On the inhale, looking toward the belly button, coming up on the toes, rounding the spine and shifting forward almost into a plank. And then on the exhale, arching the spine, coming back on the heels, sending the hips high and coming back into your downward facing dog. Following a really fluid style of movement here as you roll through this gesture, just following the rhythm of your own breath. Slowly lubricating each individual vertebrae of the spine and continuing to follow the rhythm of your own body and your own breath for a few more rounds. And wherever you are, go ahead and meet me back in a downward facing dog and just reverse the movement of this spinal roll. Taking an inhale this time, arching the spine and shifting forward on the toes, almost into a plank. Then on the exhale, rounding the spine, looking toward the belly and shifting back into that downward facing dog. Again, following the rhythm of your own body and your own breath, taking this as quickly or as slowly as you would like to today, making this your practice. And then meeting me back in a downward facing dog before sending that right leg high toward the sky in a three-legged dog. At first, squaring the hips toward the mat and then bending that right leg, opening up the hips, maybe looking over that left shoulder at the right foot. And then squaring the hips back toward the mat, straightening the right leg, following the rhythm of your own breath. Once again, bending that right knee, opening up the hips, looking over that left shoulder, and then squaring the hips back toward the mat, straightening the right leg. One more time, bending that right leg, opening up the hips and looking over that left shoulder, remembering to keep the weight evenly distributed through the right and the left wrists. Then straightening that right knee once more, Squaring the hips toward the mat and reminding yourself that your leg doesn't have to be extremely high, especially at the beginning of the practice here as we get warmed up. Just finding a place that's comfortable for you. And then lowering that right leg down once again to the mat, coming into a three-legged dog on the left side, sending that left foot high toward the sky at first, squaring the hips toward the mat. And then as you bend that left knee, and begin looking over that right shoulder, open up those hips. Coming back to a neutral rotation, straightening that left knee. And then opening the hips, bending the left knee. Straightening the left knee. Squaring the hips toward the mat. And taking a deep breath here. Feeling the sensation of this stretch. And then very slowly, letting that left foot float back toward the floor, finding your downward facing dog. And taking a nice deep bend in through both knees and walking toward the top of the mat. Keeping a micro bend in the knees and finding a rag doll pose, clasping opposite elbows with each hand and allowing the chest to rest on the top of the thighs. Letting the back of the neck open up letting the head hang down like a ripe piece of fruit, and just letting any energy that no longer serves you to exit through the crown of your head into the earth to be transmuted, consciously releasing anything that you might be holding on to that really isn't in service to your highest well-being, letting your energy be refreshed as you draw energy through the bottoms of your feet, shaking the head from side to side, 
nodding the head back and forward, and just allowing all of those little vertebrae in the top of the spine in that cervical area of the neck to warm up. And then releasing the hands back to the mat, on an inhale, reaching forward, finding a flat back. As you exhale, folding forward. Following the in-breath, rolling the spine and extending, looking forward once again. Finding a rhythm here and exhaling, folding forward a little bit more deeply each time. Rolling right back into an extended spine, this time letting the heels lift off the floor. On the exhale, folding forward, heels come toward the mat. And again, coming up on the balls of the feet, extending the spine, inhale, looking forward. Exhale, heels find the floor, folding forward even more deeply. And then on the next breath, just beginning to roll the spine really slowly into a standing position, one vertebrae at a time, letting the head come up last of all. And then following the in-breath, reaching toward the sky, looking up towards your hands, exhaling, bringing hands to heart center. Taking a grounding breath here in through the nose, expanding the diaphragm and exhaling through the nose. On the next breath, reaching back up toward the sky, clasping the left wrist with the right hand, rooting that left heel into the earth, and taking a nice deep side stretch over toward the right, looking up under that left arm. Following the breath, coming back to center, clasping the right wrist with the left hand, rooting that right heel into the earth, and reaching over toward the left this time. Coming back to center, reaching tall, and as you exhale, swan dive forward, deep forward fold. Inhale, flat back, looking forward. Exhale, forward fold, keeping a micro bend in the knees. Then planting the hands firmly on the mat and either stepping or floating back into Chaturanga. Elbows in toward the ribs, lowering toward the floor, and then inhale, upward facing dog, keeping those shoulders rolled down away from the ears. And then we're coming into this rolling twist. So shifting your weight over onto that left hip, reaching toward the top right hand corner of the mat with the right hand and pointing the right toes toward the bottom right hand corner of the mat, looking over that right shoulder and bringing the chest toward the center of the mat as far as possible. This might feel a little bit strange at first, but I promise you'll get the hang of it. Coming back through upward facing dog and shifting onto the other side, bringing the right hip onto the floor, reaching toward the top left hand corner of the mat with the left hand, pointing the left toes toward the bottom left hand corner of the mat, and seeing if you can bring your chest down closer toward the center of the mat, looking over that left shoulder. Onto the other side once again. Shifting through upward facing dog and bringing that left hip down toward the mat, reaching toward the top right hand corner of the mat with the right hand and looking over that right shoulder, bringing the chest down as far as you can. And then shifting back through upward facing dog, bringing that right hip toward the floor, pointing those left toes and reaching the left hand toward the top left hand corner of the mat looking over that left shoulder, feeling all of the little places in your body where this stretch is affecting you. And then pressing yourself back up into your upward facing dog, taking a deep inhale here and as you exhale, finding downward facing dog, rolling over the toes if that feels accessible for you. Coming back to that relationship with your vagus nerve, taking a deep inhale through the nose, expanding the diaphragm, grounding into your downward facing dog. And then on the next inhale, bringing that left foot toward the center of the mat, right leg floats toward the sky in a three-legged dog. Exhaling, bending that right knee, opening the hips, looking over the left shoulder, the right foot, and then straightening that right knee, taking another deep inhale, and as you exhale, bending that right knee in toward the chest, planting the right foot in between the hands and rising up into a powerful warrior one. Shoulders are relaxed away from the ears. 
No need to perfectly square your hips toward the top of the mat. Go ahead and point the pelvis at a 45 degree angle toward the top left hand corner of the mat, being kind to that left knee. Stacking that right knee right over the right ankle. And then taking a deep inhale. As you exhale, bringing the palms together in a prayer twist. Stacking that left elbow right on top of the right knee. Right elbow is stacked right over the left elbow. And then bringing the awareness right back to the breath. On the next breath, framing out that right foot and sending the right foot high into a three-legged dog. Feeling a nice deep extension here wherever your leg is height-wise. And as you exhale, coming into this three-legged chaturanga, hugging the elbows in toward the ribs, and then inhaling, upward facing dog. Exhale, rolling over the toes into your downward facing dog. Deep inhale, deep exhale. On the next breath, taking a deep bend in through the knees, coming up on the balls of the feet, looking forward, and then floating to the top of the mat. Inhale, flat back, looking forward, extending the spine. And exhale, deepening this forward fold. Following the breath on the inhale, coming into a chair pose, maybe tracing this line of alignment as you bring your fingertips toward your shoulders, Reaching toward the sky, keeping those shoulders rolled away from the ears, elbows right next to the ears. Maybe looking at your toes over the tops of your knees. And then following the breath, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, root to rise, standing tall, reaching toward the sky. Exhale, hands come to heart center. Inhale, reaching toward the sky. Exhale, deep swan dive forward. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, forward fold, planting those hands firmly on the mat and then floating back into your chaturanga, lowering toward the floor and then inhale, upward facing dog. Rolling over the toes, downward facing dog on the exhale. Deep inhale and exhale through the nose. On the next inhale, finding a spinal roll, rounding the top of the spine, coming up on the balls of the feet. And as you exhale, arching the spine, coming back into your downward facing dog. And then bringing the right foot toward the center of the mat, inhaling that left leg goes high into a three-legged dog, opening the hips, bending that left knee, looking over the right shoulder. And then inhaling, straightening that leg, following the exhale and bending the left knee in toward the chest, planting that left foot in between the hands and rising up into a warrior one. Deep breath, taking an inhale and as you exhale, pressing the palms together in a prayer pose and twisting over toward the left, planting that right elbow on top of the left knee and allowing that right heel to come up off of the floor if that's easier on your right knee. Stacking that left elbow on top of the right elbow, maybe even a little bit more than I have here. And then following the breath, framing out that left foot on an inhale, sending that left leg high into a three-legged dog. As you exhale, coming into your three-legged chaturanga, floating slowly towards the floor, and then inhaling, upward facing dog. Tops of the feet find the floor. And then on an exhale, rolling over those toes into your downward facing dog. Deep breath in and out through the nose. On the next breath, floating to the top of the mat, and then inhale, looking forward, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Taking a deep breath in this forward fold. And then on the next inhale, finding your chair pose once again, building some heat in the lower body, strengthening through the back as you sink a little bit deeper. And on your next exhale, flowing into your forward fold, straightening the knees. On the next inhale, root to rise, standing tall, reaching up toward the sky and exhaling, bringing the hands back to heart center. 
And now we're coming into Natarajasana, dancer pose on the right side, firmly rooting that left foot into the earth as you find a focal point in front of you and begin to bring that right foot off of the floor to meet the right hand. Begin slowly reaching forward with the left arm, bringing the left arm parallel to the earth beneath you as you raise your right leg a little bit higher. Finding a point of balance here and reminding yourself that the most important part of this pose is just finding a state of inner balance, not necessarily reaching your leg as high as you possibly can, although that will come with time as you gain more flexibility and stability in that left leg. Taking a few deep, solid breaths here, and then releasing that right leg back toward the floor, Reaching toward the sky on the next inhale, and then exhaling forward fold, finding your flow, inhaling flat back, reaching forward. Exhaling forward fold, planting your hands on the mat and floating back into Chaturanga, lowering slowly toward the floor, and then inhale upward facing dog. Exhale, rolling over those toes into downward facing dog. Deep inhale and exhale through the nose. And then bringing that left foot toward the center of the mat, inhaling that right leg toward the sky in a three-legged dog. As you exhale, bending that right leg, opening the hips and looking over that left shoulder. And as you open the hips more and more, begin finding the floor with that right leg. We're coming into a wild thing, so take a deep bend in through that right knee and then send the hips high, bringing that right hand off of the floor and sweeping that hand all around the body a few times. Feeling the bigness of this gesture and then bending deeper in through that right knee, shifting back into the three-legged dog you started from, sending that right foot towards the sky. Inhaling, and then as you exhale, finding an eagle pose, wrapping that right leg all the way around the left, tucking the right toes around the left ankle, shifting the weight onto the right arm, and sweeping that left hand high and wide around you this time. Then following the breath, coming back into your three-legged dog, unwinding that right leg and sending it high toward the sky. Inhale, and as you exhale, bringing that knee in toward the chest and planting the right foot on the floor, rising up into this warrior one, taking a deep inhale, deep exhale. On the next breath, coming into this prayer twist, bringing the palms together and planting that left elbow on top of the right knee, stacking the right elbow on top of the left elbow, and maybe even looking up toward the sky for a moment. Bringing your focus right back to the inhale and the exhale. On the next breath, releasing the arms and coming into this lizard pose, maybe inching that right foot out a little bit more ahead of you as you bring that left knee back towards the floor, either bringing your hands or your elbows toward the floor on the inside of the right foot and melting the chest toward the floor. With each inhale and each exhale, melting a little bit closer toward the earth. On the next breath, bringing that left knee up off of the floor and sending the right leg high back into your three-legged dog. Deep inhale as that right foot reaches toward the sky, exhaling into your three-legged chaturanga, following the inhale into upward-facing dog. Exhale, downward-facing dog. Deep inhale and exhale through the nose. On the next breath, bringing the right foot toward the center of the mat and sending that left foot high toward the sky in a three-legged dog. Bending that left knee, opening the hips, and beginning to find your way into your wild thing on the left side, slowly letting that left foot find the floor behind you. Letting that left hand slowly come up off the ground and then bending deeper in through that left knee before you send those hips high toward the sky, sweeping that left hand around you in this big gesture, letting your energy expand, 
feeling yourself blossoming toward the sky. On the next exhale, take a deep bend in through that left knee, releasing the pose and pushing off that left foot, returning the left hand toward the floor. Left foot is sent toward the sky in this three-legged dog. Inhale and as you exhale, wrapping that left leg around the right leg in this eagle pose, sending the right arm around the body in a big gesture. And then finding your flow, replacing that right hand on the floor and sending the left leg high, unwrapping it into three-legged dog once more. Inhale. And as you follow the exhale, threading that left knee in toward the chest, planting the left foot on the floor and rising up into warrior one, grounding into the earth. Another deep inhale, and as you exhale, planting that right elbow on the top of the left knee, bringing the palms of the hands together, and finding this prayer twisted lunge. Again, taking the option to bring that right heel off the floor if this is a little too much for your right knee. Taking a solid breath here. Following the next breath, bringing the hands to the inside of the left foot, and sinking that right knee towards the mat. Maybe uncurling the toes and bringing the top of the right foot towards the mat as you bring your elbows toward the floor, sinking the chest as close toward the floor as you can, melting deeply into this lizard pose as far as it's accessible for you and making it your own, never pushing or forcing yourself into any pose. Following your breath and on the next inhale, coming into your three-legged dog on the left side, releasing your lizard pose and reaching that left leg up toward the sky behind you. Following the exhale into your three-legged chaturanga and floating the chest toward the floor. Inhaling, upward facing dog. Following the exhale into downward facing dog. Deep breath here in this down dog. In through the nose out through the nose, expanding the belly and the diaphragm. On the inhale, looking forward and floating to the top of the mat. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, deepening this forward fold. On the next inhale, coming right into your chair pose, sinking as deeply as you can into this chair pose and feeling that fire building more and more in the lower body. Maintaining that steady breath. Give me one more deep inhale here, and then as you exhale, forward fold, releasing your chair pose. Inhale, standing tall, reaching toward the sky. Exhale, hands come to heart center. Taking a couple of solid, deep breaths here, in and out, through the nose. Bringing the awareness right back to the inhale and the exhale. And then on the next breath, we're preparing for our Natarajasana dancer pose on the left side this time, rooting through that right foot and finding a focal point in front of you, reaching forward with the right hand and pushing the back of the left foot into the left hand. And the left side might be a little bit different from your right side, so your leg might be a little bit lower. It might be all the way down here today. No shame in your game. The point of this pose is to find the balance within yourself. And again, over time, you will naturally begin to raise that leg a little bit higher and a little bit higher until one day you might surprise yourself with how high your leg can go in this pose, but never pushing or forcing yourself farther than you're ready. And you're welcome to stay right here working on the balance, focusing on the breath, or if you're ready for it and you'd like the challenge, you can do the version of this pose where you flip your grip and hold that left foot with both hands. This is a maneuver that you should only attempt if you have the full flexibility in your shoulders and your back. This is also a highly intuitive gesture, so you might end up finding a way to flip your grip in a way that's better and easier for your body over time. Again, if at any point you feel any sharp sensation of pain, immediately find your way out of this pose. For me, it feels best to first meet my left foot with my left hand, and then begin stretching that left leg out behind me, meeting the right hand with the back of the left foot, and once I have a grip on my left foot, I slowly begin straightening that left leg, bringing a counterbalance into the pose, 
by shifting my chest forward over that right leg as much as possible. Wherever you are, take a deep breath, releasing your Natarajasana and coming back to a standing position, grounding into the earth, and then taking a deep inhale, reaching toward the sky, exhaling, forward fold. Inhale, extending the spine, looking forward. Exhale, forward fold. On the next inhale, planting the hands on the mat and floating back into Chaturanga, lowering toward the floor, and then inhale, upward facing dog. Backs of the feet find the floor, and perhaps allowing yourself a little bit of a back bend here for a moment. Following the exhale into downward facing dog, taking a deep grounding breath here in this down dog. On your next inhale, bringing that left foot toward the center of the mat and raising that right leg high into three-legged dog, bending through the right knee and finding your way into your wild thing nice and slowly, letting that right foot find the floor behind you, bending through both knees, eventually sending the hips toward the sky and sweeping that right arm around the body, finding your flow here. And then following the momentum of that arm, bending again through the right leg and shifting back into your three-legged dog, right leg high toward the sky. Deep inhale. As you exhale, let's wrap that right leg around the left leg, finding our eagle pose, shifting the weight onto the right arm, and sending that left arm around the body. Replacing the left arm on the floor, finding that momentum and sending the right leg high again into three-legged dog. Inhale here, and as you exhale, bending that right knee in toward the chest, planting it on the mat, and rising up into warrior one. Inhale, and as you exhale, opening up into warrior two, palms of the hands toward the sky, opening the chest, and taking up as much space on your mat as you can, lengthening the crown of the head toward the sky, feeling this warrior energy within you. On the next inhale, inching that left foot in a little bit more and reaching forward, finding your triangle pose, hips shift toward the left, left hand reaches toward the sky, Fingertips of the right hand find the floor or maybe a block behind that right foot. Peeling that left shoulder open, looking up toward the sky, deepening the inhales and the exhales here. And then on the next breath, bending in through that right knee and floating forward into your half moon pose. Seeing if you can stack that left wrist right on top of the right wrist, reaching toward the sky and maybe looking up. And reminding yourself that even if you fall out of this pose, you can find your way right back into it. Every time you fall out of a pose and find your way back into it, you're strengthening the neural connections all throughout your nervous system that are responsible for your sense of balance. On the next breath, floating that left foot back toward the floor, and then finding your way into a reverse warrior, sweeping that right arm high and opening the right side body, following the breath, cartwheeling the hands to frame out that right foot, and coming right into a twisted lunge, right arm toward the sky, letting that left heel come off the floor. Then returning the right hand to frame out the right foot and sending the right foot high into your three-legged dog. Deep inhale at the top of your three-legged dog, and as you exhale, flowing through your vinyasa, three-legged chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Following the exhale into a downward facing dog. Deep breath here in and out through the nose. And then bringing the right foot toward the center of the mat. Left foot floats toward the sky, three legged dog. On the inhale, bending that left knee, opening that left hip more and more as that left foot begins to find the floor behind you. Finding your way into your wild thing on the left side, shifting your weight onto the right hand, bending deeply in through that left leg, and then sending the hips high as that left arm sweeps around you. Feeling that energetic expansion throughout your whole body and then following the flow, bending through that left leg, pushing off of the left leg and finding three-legged dog, left leg toward the sky. 
inhale and as you exhale wrapping that left leg around the right leg finding an eagle pose and shifting your weight onto the left hand sweeping the right arm around the body and then unwinding that left leg sending it back into your three-legged dog behind you inhale as you exhale bringing that left knee in toward the chest planting it firmly on the mat and rising up into warrior one taking a deep inhale and as you exhale following the breath opening up into warrior two palms of the hands facing toward the sky opening the chest and as you practice this flow more and more you will be able to predict these poses more intuitively and if you get a few of them wrong or you feel like this is a little bit fast that's okay the success today is in showing up and trying not in attaining some kind of perfection Another option here is to bring hands to heart center and ground yourself into this warrior pose. On the next breath, inching that right foot in a little bit more, sending the hips over toward the right and finding your way into triangle pose. Opening up that right shoulder, maybe looking up toward the sky, bringing the awareness right back to the breath. On the next inhale, beginning to bend in through that left leg and float into half moon. Opening up that right shoulder and stacking the right wrist right over the left wrist. Perhaps using a block under that left hand if necessary. And reminding yourself that your leg can be a little bit lower. It could be down here or a little bit lower than that. Or as far down as you need to bring the leg to find a sense of balance in this pose. Wherever you are, find the balance and breathe into it. On the next breath, begin floating that right leg back toward the mat, bending in through that left leg and coming into your reverse warrior, opening up that left side body, sweeping that left arm high and then cartwheeling the hands to frame out that left foot right into this twisted lunge, planting that right arm on the inside of the left foot Letting that right heel come up off the floor and reaching the left hand toward the sky, looking up. On the next breath, framing out that left foot with both hands and sending that left foot high into your three-legged dog. Deep inhale through the nose. As you exhale, find this three-legged chaturanga, floating the chest toward the floor. Inhale, upward dog. On the exhale, rolling over those toes, finding your downward facing dog. Deep inhale, deep exhale. The mind comes right back to the breath. On the next breath, bending through the knees, coming up on the balls of the feet and floating toward the top of the mat. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, deep forward fold. Inhale, finding your chair pose, sitting deeply into this, feeling the burn, challenging yourself to sink a little bit deeper. And on the next exhale, forward fold. Inhale, standing tall, reaching up toward the sky. Exhale, hands come to heart center, reconnect. I'm proud of you for what you're doing here today. Inhale, reach toward the sky on the next breath. As you exhale, deep swan dive forward. Inhale, extending the spine and looking forward. Exhale, forward fold, floating back into your chaturanga. Lowering toward the mat. And on the inhale, following the breath into upward facing dog. Following the exhale into your downward facing dog. Three solid breaths here. Grounding yourself into the earth, feeling the stability of the planet underneath you as it feeds you a nourishing energy. On the next breath, bringing that left foot toward the center of the mat and sending the right leg high, three-legged dog. Deep inhale. As you exhale, begin bending that right knee and slowly finding your way into your wild thing. Shifting your weight onto that left arm, 
sweeping the right arm around you as you send the hips high toward the sky, feeling the delicious bend through your back. And you're welcome to stay right here, deepening your sense of flexibility and strength in your wild thing. Or if you're ready for this challenge and it's within your practice to do this, you can go ahead and find a wheel pose by flipping your grip and letting your right arm find its way behind you onto the floor, strengthening through the hips and the glutes to give yourself the stability you need. Once you find both arms behind you, raising the hips up toward the sky and emphasizing the bend in the upper portion of the spine. Heels are welcome to come off the floor, or you can bring them back down onto the floor either way. Deep inhale as you exhale, traveling back through a wild thing toward the right hand side and finding your way back into three-legged dog right foot toward the sky. Inhale as you exhale, coming into your eagle pose, right leg wraps around the left leg, Shifting the weight onto the right arm and sweeping that left arm all the way around you, following the momentum, unwrapping that right leg and sending it high toward the sky once more. Deep inhale in through this three-legged dog. As you exhale, bending that right knee in toward the chest, planting it in between the hands and rising up into your warrior one. Taking a few breaths here in this warrior one, perhaps bringing the hands to heart center. Deep inhale, and as you exhale, begin finding your way into warrior two. Opening the arms and pointing the palms of the hands toward the sky, bringing the awareness right back to the breath. On the next breath, straightening out that right knee, sending the hips to the left and reaching forward, finding triangle pose. Right hand finds the outside of the right foot, Left wrist is stacked right over the shoulders, opening up that left shoulder, maybe looking up toward the sky. And then on the next breath, bending in through that right knee and finding your way into your half moon pose, floating that left leg up toward the sky. And you're more than welcome to stay right here in your half moon pose. Or if you'd like a little bit more of a challenge, you're welcome to bend in through that left knee, allowing the left hand to connect with the outside of the left foot, pressing into the left hand with the top of the left foot, feeling a deeper stretch in through the hips. On the next breath, slowly releasing that left foot and letting it float toward the mat behind you, reaching back with that right arm into reverse warrior. And then as you exhale, cartwheeling both hands to frame out that right foot, planting the left hand on the inside of the right foot and sending the right arm high into a twisted lunge. Left heel comes off the floor, looking up toward that right hand. And then following the breath, flowing right back into your three-legged dog, right leg toward the sky. Deep inhale through the nose, exhaling three-legged chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Deep inhale, deep exhale, grounding yourself into the earth. On the next breath, bending through the knees and floating to the top of the mat. Inhale, flat back, looking forward. Exhale, deepening this forward fold. On the next inhale, coming into your chair pose, challenging yourself to sink deeply into this. And on your next breath, exhaling back into your forward fold. Inhale, standing tall, reaching toward the sky, exhaling, hands come to heart center, reconnecting with the breath. Inhale, reaching toward the sky, following the flow of your breath, exhaling into a deep swan dive forward. Inhale, flat back, extending the spine and looking forward. Exhale, forward fold, planting the hands on the mat and floating back into chaturanga. Inhaling, upward facing dog. 
On the exhale, rolling over the toes into downward facing dog. Deep inhale, deep exhale through the nose. On to the other side, bringing the right foot to the center of the mat as you send the left leg high into a three-legged dog. On the exhale, bending that left knee and slowly finding your way into your wild thing, left foot finds the floor, sweeping that left arm around you as you reach the hips toward the sky, relishing this sense of expansion as you sweep that left arm around you, either staying right here and deepening your wild thing, or if you're ready for the challenge, you can begin flipping your grip, reaching that left arm behind you and finding a wheel pose, strengthening through the hips, pressing the hips toward the sky, and either coming up off of the heels, onto the balls of the feet, or bringing the heels down toward the earth, your choice once again. Deepening the breath here, no matter how challenging it is to breathe through this pose. When you've taken a few solid breaths here, begin transitioning your way back into your three-legged dog, turning toward the left and beginning to send the left leg toward the sky. A deep inhale as you find your three-legged dog. And as you exhale, begin finding your eagle pose, wrapping that left leg around the right leg and shifting your weight onto the left arm, sweeping the right arm around your body and following the momentum of your right arm as you replace the right hand on the mat, unwrapping the left leg and sending the left leg high again into three-legged dog. On the next exhale, bringing that left knee in toward the chest and rising up into warrior one. Deep inhale as you exhale, opening up into warrior two. Palms of the hands toward the sky, or perhaps bringing the palms of the hands into a prayer pose, finding a sense of grounded well-being here. On the next breath, straightening out that left leg, hips shift toward the right, reaching toward the left, and finding your way into a triangle pose. Looking up toward that right arm and following the breath, bending in through that left knee and finding your way into your half moon pose. Slowly finding your balance here, opening up that right shoulder, And if you'd like the challenge, again, you can bend in through that right knee and begin connecting the right foot with the right hand, pushing the top of the right foot into the right hand and finding a deeper stretch in through the hips. Deep breaths here, in and out, through the nose. On your next breath, releasing that right leg toward the floor and finding your way into your reverse warrior, taking a nice deep side stretch through the left side body, and then cartwheeling both hands to frame out that left foot, planting the right hand on the inside of the left foot and reaching toward the sky with the left arm in this twisted lunge. Deep breath here, and then frame out that left foot one more time before you send the left leg high above you into your three-legged dog. Deep inhale through this extension. As you exhale, find your three-legged chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Three solid breaths here, grounding yourself into your downward facing dog. Maybe coming up on your fingertips to shift your weight out of your wrists for a moment. And then on the next breath, bending through the knees, looking forward and floating toward the top of the mat. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, deepening this forward fold. On the next breath, flowing right into your chair pose, sinking the hips down toward the floor, strengthening through the back and keeping those shoulders away from the ears. Exhale, forward fold. On the next breath, begin bringing the feet a little bit wider than hip-width distance apart, 
sinking the hips down toward the mat and coming into malasana, a yogi squat. Elbows come to the inside of the knees, palms of the hands pressed together, shoulders rolled down away from the ears. Crown of the head lengthens toward the sky. Sensing the support of the earth underneath you, breathing into the diaphragm and engaging the parasympathetic nervous system. On the next breath, Release the hips all the way back down onto the mat and find your way into a butterfly pose, bringing the soles of the feet to meet together, and then begin folding forward over your feet, allowing the forehead to either come to a block or toward the floor in front of you. And just allow your chest to melt closer toward the floor with every breath. On the next inhale, slowly begin coming back up into a seated position, raising the crown of the head toward the sky. And then we're very briefly going to give ourselves a little bit of a foot massage here with our elbows, tapping into some of these reflexology points on the soles of our feet and thanking our feet for being the supporting pillars underneath us as we flow through these advanced practices. Noticing where certain areas might feel a little bit more tender than others, or might feel like they want a little bit more attention. When you're ready, Bring your knees back together and slowly lower yourself into a reclined position, hugging your knees into your chest and really thanking yourself for all of the work you've done here today and even just for showing up. On your next breath, find your way into a shoulder stand, bringing your ankles to align over your knees and over your hips, elbows underneath you, chin tucked into your chest, lengthening the back of the neck and making sure that you don't look side to side in this pose. On the next breath, begin bringing your feet behind you, finding a plow pose, planting the hands on the mat, releasing the lower back. And then very slowly at your own pace, just begin releasing the hips back to the floor in front of you, straightening the left leg out in front of you and crossing the right knee over the midline of the body, coming into this supine twist, reaching that right hand out toward the right and looking over the right shoulder, making sure you keep that right shoulder firmly planted on the floor. And then very slowly, 
Just release the twist, switching over to the other side, extending that right leg, bending that left knee, and twisting over toward the right, looking out over that left shoulder, keeping the left shoulder planted firmly on the ground. And then very slowly, just begin releasing this twist and hug both knees in toward your chest one last time. Maybe rocking a little bit from side to side, massaging that lower back area. And then take any last stretch that your body is asking for if you'd like to before we find Shavasana. Stretching the legs out in front of us, bringing the palms of the hands to the sides of the body facing toward the sky. Eyes are welcome to stay open or closed, and the toes roll open, feeling your body magnetically connected to the earth beneath you, noticing a humming, buzzing energy that flows throughout your body in a new way, sensing how the flow of prana has shifted in your body since we began our practice. And begin sensing your breath now, not trying to control it or force it in any way, just noticing the way that the breath is traveling in through the nostrils the way that the belly and the chest rise and the way that they fall again as you exhale going intimately into this relationship with your breath noticing every moment of your breath's journey from the very beginning of that inhale the suspension of the breath and then the journey of the exhale as you release noticing how calm and energized you feel all at the same time and now feel that iron core of the planet that extends far beneath your physical body into the earth and yet is intrinsically connected to you. And begin to take notice of how safe you are here. Remind every muscle in your body that there is no risk of falling and that you can trust the earth to hold you here in complete stillness and safety as you release the mind and find a sense of peace and deep serenity in this state of rest as we integrate all of the wonderful work that we've done here today into our mind and into our spirit knowing that our body, mind and spirit are all completely connected and as you sink 
into an even deeper state of relaxation. Allow your awareness to go into the tips of your toes as we follow a journey up the tops of our feet, noticing the soles of our feet, our ankles, our shins and our calves and just begin to notice how the feet and the lower legs begin to melt even more deeply into the earth moving now up to our knees the quadriceps and the backs of the legs the hamstrings moving up to our hips and our glutes moving up to the solar plexus and feeling now the entire lower body sinking into an even deeper state of rest and relaxation bringing our awareness to the lower back now to the upper back to our chest and our sternum and taking a moment to consciously invite all of the little muscles in our back To release any bit of tension they may still be holding on to. Moving now out to our shoulders and down to our elbows and our wrists, down to the palms of our hands and bringing awareness now into all of our fingertips feeling the hands melting open and the arms and the shoulders sinking even more deeply into relaxation and now moving up to the neck the jawline the chin and feeling all of those little muscles in our jaw and the muscles around our mouth relax even more deeply moving up to all of the little muscles in our forehead and around our eyes feeling all of those muscles releasing and relaxing even more deeply feeling our eyes sinking into the back of our head and feeling all of the muscles in the scalp completely relaxed as our head rests against the earth being held in complete safety as we now scan the entire body all the way up the front and all the way down the back side of our body holding the entire body now in complete and total relaxation completely and totally relinquishing any tension and allowing all of this tension to be transmuted by the earth beneath us
and with each in-breath, begin receiving fresh waves of prana. Noticing how your energy is being reset and completely refreshed. With each exhale, expired electrons flow back into the energetic field to be transmuted. Once again, noticing your body as it hums with a renewed sense of fresh energy. A sense of resilience, strength, and vitality that allows you to safely blossom and grow and explore the world around you with a sense of freedom and grace. Always knowing that you are safe that you are held by the planet. Reminding yourself that this sense of well-being is your birthright, something that you can always tap into. Now very, very slowly, begin bringing a little bit of movement to the fingertips and the toes. Slowly waking up the wrists and the ankles. And with the eyes closed at your own pace, just begin slowly turning over toward the left and hug your knees in toward the chest in a fetal position. Staying here for as long as you need to. And when you're ready, use that right hand to begin pressing yourself up into a cross-legged seated position opening your eyes to the world again with a fresh outlook because you are in a new universe now. Thank you for joining me today. Namaste, friends.